Welcome humans! Today I'm just gonna show you how to make a portrait the easy way. So I'm just showing you what canvas I use and what is the size. First off, grid. I'm using Drawing Grid Maker. Um, for me, this is the app that I always go to when I do the grid of my picture. So here, I'm just entering the number of rows that I want um, for my reference picture and then adjusting um, the size of the line. So here, I'm just changing the color of the line so that I can see it better. I tried green first and then I tried to um, use red. But then I went back to the green since it's much more visible than the red. So I finally chose green. Once you're satisfied, just save it and um, do the grid on your canvas finally. So I'm just showing what I actually used. I actually borrowed um, a T-square from my sister. Of course, you can use any ruler or stick that you have available as long as it does the job for you. Finally, I'm done with the grid and it's time to do the sketch. I usually do the major lines first, like the outline of the face or the head. So here, I'm just doing the fingers since for me, it's like a part of the major line. Then I did the eyebrows and finally the eyes. Make sure to always look at your reference picture that has a grid so that you don't go astray. I'm just doing the nose, then following the mouth, so on and so forth. Once satisfied with your sketch, erase the lines on the part where it has light colors. When painting, I always start from back to front. So as you can see, I'm starting off with the background first since that's the, like, the backest part of the painting. <laughs> So I'm just going back and forth, adding some paint on it until I'm satisfied with my background. After the background, I do the face. I always tend to do the dark browns first whenever I do the face. Always keep on checking on your reference photo and locate where are the parts that has browns on it, then fill those out with browns. It's always from dark to light for me, so this time I'm doing um, the second brown here, which is lighter than the dark brown that we used earlier. Adding on some white on the previous brown that we used, and now I'm adding the third layer or third brown of this painting. It's almost peachy, by the way. So I just thought it's time for the pinkish orange parts of the painting so I'm just mixing here some reds and orange so I mixed them with um, the peachy paint that we just put then just distribute that color on the parts of the face which you think has that color you just gotta trust yourself and the reference photo and of course your eyes now I'm just mixing another brownish reddish tone um, for the other parts of the face and just lay them on the parts which it has that color. On this part, I went on much lighter peachy tone and just lay them flat again to the parts where it has that color. Adding some white on the previous peachy color that we used, um, just laying them flat again on the parts where it has that color. You just really gotta trust your eyes with the colors. As you can notice, I'm actually applying this color um, gradually. Um, it's like um, a technique for blending so that we have like a much nicer trans transition of colors and it looks um, blended. I actually added some white again on the previous color that we used and apply them to the parts of the face where the light actually hits it. So 
So here, using the same color, I'm just layering on the parts um, where it needs to be blended with the light parts of the face. So I mixed in some peachy, pinkish tones for the lips and for the gums and just putting them there on the bars that has that color. Mixing some light gray for the teeth. Apply them on the bars with our shadows. I actually failed to film the parts where I actually put some more light colors and whites to blend all the paints together. I actually just added some whites and put them on the parts where the lights hit it. So I always do the hair last and so I'm just adding like the base color of the hair and I'm just going back in with the eyes and adding some dark colors on it while I'm waiting for the base color of the hair to dry. Um, also adding some details on the eyebrows and on the teeth part and also on the fingers so I'm just going back in for some details. Now that the base color is dry, I'm just adding some blacks, then finally adding some browns um, until I'm satisfied with the hair. Just going back and forth, I added some black and browns on the hair until I'm satisfied with how it looks. And this is our final output. So this is how our portrait looks like. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have learned something from this video. Till next time. Bye.